Ember days are seasonal days of fasting and prayer, four times a year, roughly corresponding with the four seasons. The spring Ember days are the Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday after the first Sunday of Lent. Join me this year in fasting and praying for our many needs, especially for Ukraine, for a fruitful Lent, and for the prayer intentions in the comments below. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for peace, we pray for mercy, we pray for an abundance of grace and light in the darkness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we hear the words of the Gospel, let us ponder whether we accept and make good use of the treasures of grace available to us in the Church, and thereby bear good fruit. Do we love one another as Christ has loved us? Do we abide in His love? Do we frequent the sacraments? Do we live liturgically and take seriously the seasons of the liturgical year? Are we wholehearted participants of the body of Christ? Do we pray for one another? including for the holy souls in purgatory? Are we merciful with each other? Do we call upon the saints to help us, remembering that they too are part of the body of Christ, living branches of the true vine? Let us hear the words of chapter 15 of the Gospel according to John. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me, as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, and become my disciples. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But as it is, they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me also hates my father. If I had not done works among them that no one else ever did, they would not have sin. But as it is, they have seen and hated both me and my Father. But in order that the word written in their law might be fulfilled, they hated me without cause. When the Advocate comes whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify 
because you have been with me from the beginning. Please.